Now, many clan fans will know that the Solway Sharks are our officially affiliated team. However, not many will know much more than that. So we came down to the Ice Bowl in Dumfries to find out a wee bit more and maybe bump into a few familiar faces. It's a fantastic facility you've got here. Can you give us a little idea of how it all came together? It really is super modern and first class. Yeah, I think it was built in 92, I think. And um, the first hockey was 93. It was Dumfries Vikings at the time. It was British Division 1. Um, that's when I first came here and, and played here for a while. Then unfortunately that team uh, the team ended in the Solway Sharks. That was kind of the birth of the Sharks then. I ended, I ended up being a player coach there. And that's when we had the, a, a strong youth development system here when it was Dumfries Juniors. It goes on to then become Solway Sharks and, and we've managed to keep that rolling from here. OK, so I'm here now in the Solway Sharks locker room with Gary Russell. Brings back some memories, does it? Yeah, it's some good memories. I enjoyed my time down here. Um, I had really good teams that we played with. meant really good friends and, yeah, just a good time overall, yeah. And where was your, which was your stall in particular? Was, where did you used to sit? I was right in here. In here, take a seat then. Clo closest to the door. Was, oh, all uh, right, trying to get out quickly. Yeah. Well, my nickname's Rusty, yes. I'm a little bit lazy, so. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out. Yeah. Pretty deep, look at that. It is, yeah, well, you can see it in these ones, it's spuds. Yeah. So I used to sit, and then I'd just fall asleep here. I'd have my, my catch and my block, and I'd just <laughs> fall, fall away <laughs> for a couple of hours. It's important to keep relaxed, isn't it? It's yeah, you need, you need to keep relaxed. Really so nice dressing rooms. You though. used to have a fight to get the, the bigger ones. So I see, it's all about the important yeah. who gets the, yeah. the pecking the, order in the here. Con, yeah, good. the corner ones. So There's Wallace, Senko. Um, yeah, up there, we kind of chopped the rookies there when that was our time. And interestingly enough, up there we can see another clansman. If you take yeah. us up there, who's up there? Yeah, so so look. He's, he's got a corner space as well. So Jordan, look at that. Jordan's up here. We'll just uh, take that away here. <laughs> We, we, we don't need that, do we? No, no, that's fine. That one's kind of gone there. Let's have a little check inside his logger. Right, OK, stop, cut that. Yeah, I love coming back here. Uh, as you can see, like you've, you've been around. It's a really nice ice arena. This is where it all started for me. This is where I learned to skate, to do everything. And I think I remember playing my first game for the Sharks, which was in Kilmarnock. I think I was 15, maybe. And obviously, you know when you're a kid, you want to play with the senior team. and. It was fun, I really enjoyed it and then obviously when I came back later on before I moved away to Edinburgh as well for a few years, like that was obviously great as well. It was nice to be home, it was, it was a good place to play. I've had a lot of good coaches over the years um, and I'm really thankful for it obviously because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them to help me. Yeah, my role, uh, I'm actually employed by Dumfries and Gallery Council as Ice Hockey Development Officer which uh, entails looking after the junior programme, the Learn to Play programme, and all the way through to the senior team, which is obviously the Solway Sharks. We also have a school programme, which we go out and do floor ball within the community, to try and encourage the local kids into the facility itself. So uh, it's obviously quite a, quite a vast role. It yeah. encompasses quite a few things. And uh, obviously it's more important just to get as many people involved in this sport here as possible, so we have the best possible chance to put a a big programme together to give the senior team a, a choice of players. And you mentioned of course your coaching role there with the Sharks, how's that working out for you at the moment? A stressful job for you or something that gives you a lot of a lot of payback? Yeah, I suppose it, it, both I think. Uh, at the moment the, the payback's pretty good, we're doing really well, we're top of the league, we're top of the cup and um, things are going along quite nicely. So far so good, we've got a great bunch of boys, we've got a great junior system that feeds the senior programme. And obviously we've got the affiliation now going up the way with the clan themselves. So I like to think we've got a pathway for, for any kid coming in that allows me and my job to, to promote the highest level of hockey possible to them. So some good memories of here though anyway, just before you left as well. Yeah, well the last season I kind of got this kind of dressing room, but previously we were up in the kind of back dressing room, that's where I met Barry for the first time. Wow, <laughs> that sounds really kind of <laughs> dubious the way you put it like that. Well, Was Barry supposed to be there? Well, I didn't even get to the dressing room in time and then Barry kind of came up and grabbed me, welcomed me, so it was good to kind of meet him, but Aye. yeah, he clung on to me ever since. Oh, well, there you are, you can't get rid of him now. And that's when these dressing rooms were done up and look fantastic, it's great. Yeah, no, it's a really good setup. up it's, uh, it's a good team this year, year they have, and I mean, the atmosphere here is second to none, so they get the guys who are kind of trying to get to our level, like this is the kind of best place for them to progress. And what do you feel like, the, with the affiliation with the clan as well, you must be delighted uh, with that system being set up, with your links with both clubs. Yeah. Uh, how beneficial do you feel, having been in this system, mm -hmm. how beneficial do you feel that affiliation can be? 
Oh, it's great. Um, obviously, there's been a few kids that's came up, and it's good to see them um, coming up because they wouldn't get a chance anywhere else in the elite league. Um, you know, you know, when you're younger, you look up, you support the, these kids. Will be supporting the clan. They'll be what to play for the clan, and getting that chance to come and skate with us is absolutely massive for them, um, and it obviously helps them. Everybody here as a club, we're just immensely proud of what we've been able to achieve with, with these players. I think on the flip side now, we have Jordan Buessa coming back from the clan to work with us and hopefully we can have a, a part in his development as well. And long may the relationship continue to make as many hockey players up to that elite level as we can.